Hi everyone, welcome to my channel. Today we're going to be talking about Anaplan lists. Let's first define them. Lists are used to group related items together, such as location, customers, employees, etc. In Anaplan, lists are considered dimensions. You can also format a land item as a list, but we'll talk about land items later. These are two things you need to remember about lists. One, only formulas can reference lists. Two, you can use lists in any module based on what use case you are working on. As soon as you create a new model and you go to general list, you will see this list called organization. Now, this list is by default in every model. And let's scroll to the right a little bit and we'll see its organization, form, heading, and under it, there is a boolean that's gray. This means that you cannot uncheck this. It will stay as is. And let's try to delete this list and see what happens. The model's organization hierarchy cannot be deleted. So this list is both default and you also cannot delete it. Now let's go out and let's insert a list first of all this list is not going to have any hierarchy so it's going to be a flat list if you didn't know this a flat list is a list without any hierarchies so let's first insert a placeholder for flat list and put it after and then we're gonna insert the actual list called customers. We're gonna put it to the end. And now let's open it and go to green view and import it. Select customers code. It's gonna be uniquely identified by code only. If you have a list and you're importing list members, you need to always have a code associated with each list member name. So let's run the import. As you can see, it is imported. Now, if we go back to general list, and there is no hierarchy, but we can always choose a top level as all customers. And if we do this and we go to the list, the parent will be all customers. And when you put this customers list in a module, at the bottom in a module, you will see that it will summarize all the information and put totals at the end in a module. But this is just a demonstration. It doesn't really need a top level. And when using top levels, you need to be careful because when it's a huge, huge list, calculations start malfunctioning. You'd rather use some formula on the line adding instead of just using top level. So now let's go back to general list and take off top level. And when we go back to customers list, as you can see, there isn't anything. It's removed. So thank you so much for watching. I will talk to you next time. Let me know if you have any questions. Bye.